Hey guys, how you going? Aussie Stuntman, pictures and stuff, I'm not sure what I'm going to call the channel yet, but anyway, let's get straight into the news I want to talk to you about. I did a video just before about the PlayStation uh, pros and cons of streaming from the PlayStation. It is kind of good and kind of bad, but in this video I want to talk about basically someone has come out and said, hey, I know why there's problems with the PlayStation 3, why everybody's getting the blue light of death, or what do you want to call it, the blue bar of death. And basically someone from Foxconn, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Foxconn, where it is made in Japan, has come out in turn and said, hey, basically, sorry, I sabotaged the PlayStation 4. And there's a little, I'll leave links to a little article down here so you guys can check it out yourself. It is in Japanese and the, the forum they said is locked now and you can't get into it so you can't view it yourself. But they've translated it and roughly it says <coughs> that these interns basically been mistreated and the fox, <laughs> sorry, Foxconn, I'm sick, I got a cough, Foxconn um, manufacturing place, they said they mis been mis but a lot of countries have been mistreated before, and there's been reports on that on many gaming websites and stuff, they make, um, they make a whole lot of different things, not just video games and stuff, they've been very mistreated before, and basically I think they've, by the word, what, but I'm guessing more that they said, sorry, start off just like, yeah. I'm guessing from how they've been treated before, when the PlayStation 4 came out, they were basically thinking, you know, this is it, we're going to stuff it up. And when they made it, they just put like a little slight error in the console, and then bring them out to you guys, and now everybody's getting them, and there's got a failure rate of 0.4, I'm guessing now, since it's been launched in America, and when it gets launched in Australia on the 29th, that failure rate is going to go up if this is true. If this is true, so many more consoles now are going to be send back. But the thing is, think if you want to send your console back, they've been sold out in every single country. So that when you want to get on the PlayStation 4, you have to wait till the second lot are made. And the thing is if they've been sabotaged and that like this guy said that they've actually done it on purpose because they've been mistreated at work, um, do you really want to buy your second run of PlayStation 4 consoles because are they going to be the same batch? Is it going to be the same thing as Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death on purposely done just to um, mess with the company? But the thing is, what happened? Yeah, so what happens now? You want to take your console back. You want to get another one. Is it the same batch? Is it a new batch? The same thing happened with Xbox. Everybody was worried, hey, if I go and buy a new Xbox 360, is it still going to get Red Ring of Death? That's why a lot of people waited until they brought out the new Slim version, not the Elite, sorry, the new Black Slim version, which did, may move, move the internals around, sorry. <laughs> so basically the heat source was away from the main CPU and it basically wanted the stuff up. But now the, the, these guys have come out and said this. I don't know what's going on. As I say, it just, uh, is it good that oh, I didn't want to buy a PlayStation 4, not being a fanboy, I'd say, this is very bad. You say, on the worker's side, you say, you know, they've been basically crapped on so much, working conditions are very bad, so like that, so they're basically saying, you know, we're going to hit back at the man and make this crap. But on, uh, also, on the other side, you've spent all this money on this console, and from factory, basically before it was even put in the box, it was, there was a fault in it, so basically not even... It being sent somewhere, not even you setting up. Now there's a fault in it from the guys putting out stuff and together. Anyway, guys, leave your comments below. What do you think? Is it, what are you on the side of the workers, or you think it's bloody stupid? Um, it is kind of like half half. We say it's not fair the way they've been mistreated, but it's not really fair them destroying a product and giving it to the public. Anyway, guys, like this video if you did to share with your friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.